Hi guys. So I thought I'd do another health update. Um, I'm trying to think where I left off. Um, with the neuroendocrine neuroendocrine that's it neuroendocrine tumor in my stomach i hadn't heard anything for a few weeks even though when i'd last went to see him um at the hospital he said oh i'll get back to you next week with your surgery date and everything um so i hadn't heard from him for a couple of weeks so i phoned his secretary and said i haven't heard from him for weeks even though he said to me in person and then wrote to my doctor my gp and said oh i'll be back in touch with the next week and this is about four weeks later still not heard anything so I phoned her and she went oh um he's just wrote you a letter today convenient and i was like well, does it mention when my surgery is going to be oh i'll just read it so she read it to me over the phone which again, lots of big words, don't understand, not medically trained. And so I was like, can you just paraphrase what you've just read and say, when is it going to be? And she went, mm. so basically it's saying that, yes, you're going to have your surgery, but um, you've literally just got to wait for a day. It, if you haven't heard anything after um, one or two months, um, get back in touch. And I'm like, hmm, I thought this was like an ASAP thing. You know, we don't want it to start growing and becoming a bigger issue. I wouldn't have thought. Anyway, so now basically I just have to wait for an appointment to go. But they're going to do it in endoscopy and they're going to do it, um, you know, telescopically so down the throat all the tools down there cut it out bring it all back out hopefully they get it all bam it's done so hopefully sometime in january i mean it's is it december tomorrow yeah december tomorrow so i'll give them a couple of weeks and if they haven't heard anything you literally just have to keep on and keep on it's like Honestly, don't say you're going to get me in next week and then actually mm, two months. Just false expectations. Just I'd rather than just be like straight right from the off. Anyway, so that's that's the stomach cancer. Then my other thing was with the um, gynecology that I've been under gynecology and in. July they took out a large endometriosis tumour um, been having problems since so the last time I went to see her she was like mm, 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 well last resort let's put you into an induced menopause well I won't tell you how old I am but I'm definitely not menopausal age I didn't think so yeah, so she's like, oh yeah, okay, we'll do the induced menopause. Um, hopefully that should sort out uh, some of the symptoms that you're feeling. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see how you are in a couple of months. So I went next door and they put this injection in my stomach, and the woman said, oh, hopefully you won't feel any sim like you know side effects. But, you know, if you do, just go to your GP and they can give you something to help. And I'm like, what kind of side effects? It's just like, oh, you know, like hot sweats, mood swings, you know, memory loss, all that. I'm like, great. Great. Anyway, I've just done five weeks and it's horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. When I went and got my second injection, because every 28 days you have to get another injection to keep you in it. So when I went and got my second injection, I was like, honestly, this has been the worst month of my life. It's horrible for the side effects. And she was like, what? What's happening? And I'm like, I am sweating all the time. 
and then I feel like I'm going to pass out sometimes when I have these hot flashes because you're just so boiling and you, you obviously can't just strip off can you if you're just out like, shopping or something um and then I was like the mood swings I'm either like okay or I'm like an evil zombie not good not great for existence and I can't remember anything so um she's like oh, all right I'll get you an appointment with the doctor and we can sort out some like HRT hormone replacement therapy so I had an appointment with the doctor she's like yes we can start you on some HRT and um I was like right but my hormones like I'm on the pill supposedly to stop me bleeding because I have anemia I have the coil fitted supposedly to stop the endometriosis coming back and I'm in an induced menopause supposedly to help gynecologic symptoms and then I'm going to be on HRT Try to put four fingers up there I thought, that's, that's a lot to give up that's a lot to give a woman so oh well try it and see how you go um yeah so seeing how that goes i'm just waiting for them to come to go to the chemist so that i can start the hrt then the other thing was when i had that surgery done in july i haven't been able to walk properly since um but i haven't been able to move it was done on it's on the left side of my pelvis um so um, my left leg hasn't been able to move properly and it's been like agony so um, I've been going back and forth saying it's hurting, it's hurting not been doing anything to help me so I went and saw a private consultant paid to go and see a private pain consultant because I was just that desperate and he, he examined me and had a look and he said, what's happened is when you had your surgery done, the way they've performed the surgery and how they've done it, they've nam damaged the main nerve that comes out of L2 in your back, your spine, L2, comes out of L2, wraps around your hip and then goes down your leg past your groin. Um, I think, is it called the lumbar nerve? I'll put it in the description anyway. That main nerve, they've damaged it. To what extent, he said, I don't know until we do some other tests, but it's damaged and it's not allowing your leg to move. That's why you've been feeling this extreme pain. And he said it was done, definitely done in surgery. So he said we can do a nerve block. And I was like, right, yep, do it. So we did the nerve block the next day. This was two days ago we had this done. And wow that hurts it's a weird feeling it doesn't take them long but in them little couple of minutes while they're doing it whoo, weird weird feeling um and yeah so he said it takes like six weeks to kick in so i've just got to wait basically but he said it's going to take 18 months for the nerve to hopefully heal hopefully heal after 18 months if it hasn't healed itself then we have to look at other options surgery and um so the nerve block just numbs the pain it doesn't heal it doesn't put it back together so you still have all like the symptoms of your leg not being able to move but hopefully it's not painful in the meantime and then he said you need to ask the secretary of the surgeon who did it my gynecology consultant to do nerve nerve conductive studies and that'll that'll prove that it was done in the surgery and prove to what extent the um nerve is damaged yes yeah, so we'll see if that works anyway and i'm still seeing my physical therapist to try and help like me with like the muscles because 
because I haven't been able to use my leg because the nerves not allow me to use it. All the muscles like around like that side of my like body, like my leg, bum, hip, thigh, they're just they've gone. I've got just no muscle. So to lift my leg or to move my leg, it's just like near impossible. So long journey, but I see light. Um because I know now hopefully some of the pain will subside and hopefully 18 months time I know it's a long time but at least at least there's something I'll be better I hope that's the plan and then I don't know about like if these nerve conductive studies come back and say basically say like yes it was done in surgery and now I've had two two other private consultants like the nerve pain consultant and the and my private um physical therapist both saying that yes this was done in the surgery and then if i get the nerve conductive studies done and that says yes then like i don't know what route to go down of like i don't know like a compensation type route because the past like five months of my life have been horrendous like I walked into surgery, fine. I come out of surgery in a Zimmer frame, with a Zimmer frame, crutches and a wheelchair. And that's how I've spent the last five months. Which is just ridiculous because of something that was damaged in the surgery. Now I don't know if that's like a realistic thing to go down or whether I would get anything or anything, but I don't know, we'll see. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I'll let you know in the next update how if I've got an appointment for me, um, stomach cancer surgery, how the menopause is going and whether this nerve block has kicked in and I'm feeling any relief. <laughs> but yeah, see how we go. Bye guys, see you later.